Hi. I'm Jessica. I'm Honor. I'm Haven. And this is Hayes. Welcome to our home. Come on in. We moved in about seven months ago and the house didn't look anything like this. We worked with Clements Design and here in the foyer, I think this is one of the biggest differences in when we moved in. They wanted to streamline the staircase and create this like beautiful, solid architectural piece. Why don't you come on in and see the rest of the house? I just wanted to make sure that the house was, regardless of all of the beautiful materials and everything that we were going to use in the house and the colors, that it was also kid-friendly and trying to use as many natural materials as possible. This is our more formal sitting area, living room. When Santa comes, he puts the presents right here. He put, put the, the presents right all right here. here. And then the tree so was stockings right there. here. We actually built this fireplace for stockings. <laughs> I spend a lot of time on Pinterest. I have many Pinterest boards and I really wanted there to be like an old world kind of French vibe mixed with like a modern French apartment. And if you just like slam that together, what would you get? We definitely still have slip covers. There's a chic way to do slip covers and Clements has figured out how to do that. Cause you never know with three kids. Right girls? Yep. Yeah. Like the yeah. time when I spilled all those little beads. Oh, I remember when you spilled all those little beads. The only thing we took from the other house was our family. And not just the family that you see here, but the family on our wall. Come check it out. My husband's African American and white, and I'm Mexican and white. So this wall is just a combination of grandparents, great grandparents, great great grandparents, great aunties and uncles and cousins. We just think that it's important for our kids to see themselves and see where they came from. It's That's your Alma. Alma is a baby. And this is Papa mm -hmm. when he was growing up. Yep. Who is those two? I don't know, it's your dad's family. When we moved in, there was lots of crown molding and molding around all of the doorways. And we basically just streamlined everything and, and pulled all of that out, which gave us a lot more height in the rooms. And this used to be a giant fireplace. But for us, the best part of the house is the view and the yard and being able to watch the kids play. So we just opened it right up. And then we got a big, giant, Cozy couch. We pretty much live on this couch all weekend and stay in our pajamas. Yeah, we, so, we sometimes we sometimes sleep on the couch. I've been dreaming about this kitchen probably my whole life because I do love to cook, and so I've spent a lot of time on, again, on Pinterest and a lot of Art Digest pins that I've done. I love natural materials. I love Butcher Block Islands. Just putting together my dream of what would be the kitchen, and this is it. My favorite part is when you get to actually eat the food. When you get to actually eat the food? Yeah. The breakfast nook is another one of my childhood fantasies to be able to have a breakfast nook. It's really Did a breakfast, lunch, and dinner nook because we eat here all the time. This is some of the candy that we got from Christmas in our stockings. And look, some more. Do you guys ask or do you just get into it? No, we don't ask. So rude. So let's go outside. This is probably the best part of the house, don't you think, girls? Yeah, no. No. My favorite part is my room. I love seeing you guys play in the yard. This was not here when we bought the house, and I always wanted to have like an indoor-outdoor vibe, and also outdoor dining is so nice in the summer. It's nice for barbecues, and we spend so much time with family and friends on the weekends. This table is really cool because it can expand, and it's super modern, and the combination of like this really modern, cool piece with like old vintage French chairs, and they're like mismatched, which is my vibe. Again, because I like old things and I like nostalgic things, the place that actually came from our, one of our best friends and they had it for their kids for like 10 years and they said that their kids grew out of it and if we wanted it and I was like, oh, that would be so sweet to have little Hazy on the same swing set as my friend's kids. I love a hand-me-down. <laughs> oh, do you want to run? Good job. He's just learning to walk. Good job. <laughs> Is that funny? 
So this is our dining room. It's nice because we have this big wooden table. We like to have big family dinners. And we have these sideboards I got. They're vintage and then we just like painted them. People can serve themselves buffet style. These chairs are cool. They fold up like that so you can store them. And then if you want to switch out the slip covers, you can always do that. And it's easy to put back on. And it is easy to put back on. And totally washable. <laughs> This was another thing that I probably overpinned on Pinterest was getting a dope laundry room. We're always doing laundry. So that's what happens when you have three kids. So although it's totally functional in here, it's still pretty. As you can see, I make cleaning products. And so it's nice because um, they're always available and, and easy to get to. I'm big on organization. It's like a simple basket for kids' laundry. Just putting sweet little tags. That like little touch just kind of elevates it. Two washers and two dryers. Oh, it's a whole situation. So this is Haven's room. Haven, do you want to give them a tour? I'm Haven and this is my room. What's your favorite part about your room? Jumping on the bed? No, I never jump on my bed. Yeah, right. No, I don't. Okay. I jumped on my old bed. <laughs> this is the least thing you would let me do. It's true. This is my room. I really like it because I get privacy in it. Not all the time. So this is my bed. Um, I have to make it every morning even though sometimes I, I don't. This is my fairy wall. When we were still building the house and we were um, starting to build my room, I said I wanted fairy light, so this part was my idea. This is a balcony. And I sometimes sit out here and read in the, when I'm with my friends. This is a swing that I swing out on here, and it's really fun to swing on. Hey, do you want to show them your room? Let's go to your room. <laughs> this is Hazy's room. Do you want to show them all of your stuff over here? These are your friends, your rocking sheep friends, and they have cool hair. Is that some of your toys? What I love about having cubbies and having things that are accessible is kind of like freedom in his play. And I learned that with the girls. They just learn so much more quickly when they feel safe and like they can kind of do things at their own will. But the one thing that I learned about, I think after having three kids is the changing table can get a little stinky. And it also isn't the cutest thing in the world. So I, I put it in the bathroom. So now we are going into the master bedroom. My husband was really into having a TV in our bedroom. I was really not down with that. Our compromise was I found an easel that you can put a TV on and we can move it out of the bedroom. And it's really not supposed to be here except for when I'm traveling, but somehow he's managed to keep it here for a couple months. I think because we have such stressful, uh oh. We have such stressful and chaotic lives. My husband is an entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm also an actress. We have three kids. I think the more kind of like neutral colors that are from nature, you'll see that a lot throughout the house. It just allows us to just kind of settle into home and to be present with each other. This room had a giant fireplace right here. And we removed the fireplace so that we can just see the mountains. It's just such a pretty view. And you can still see the backyard from here. Yeah, it's super chill and quiet. I don't get a lot of quiet moments, but when I do, this is definitely the space where I like to chill out. You definitely don't get quiet moments from us because we always call you or it's text true. you or yeah, you're just home and we annoy you. I mean, you know, it's just being mom. <laughs> okay, so here's the master bathroom. We spent a lot of time in here. I spent a lot of time in here. The girls like to take showers with me. My husband always complained that the reason why he didn't like taking showers was because he said I stole all the water. So now he has his side, I have my side. No more stealing water. And then I always get cold when I come out of the bathtub. So we put the bathtub inside of the shower. And so that way it's nice and cozy and warm. Even when you get out of the bath, right? Is it? Yeah, that's right.
Bye, AD. Thank you for coming. I gotta go make dinner, so you gotta get out of here. Get out!